I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your archer, but and today I want to show you why it's so important to use a tempered palette for your paint if you're going to be using a glass palette, what the difference is between regular glass and the dangers that I expect to have there, and then why I think that a tempered palette, especially this one, is so good. This one got a lot of unexpected results and um, general nerdery happened. But I think that you're going to find this very informative and in why this is such a soapbox issue because I feel like you as viewers should be very careful about what you use and the tips that you might take and recognize that not everything on YouTube is vetted, not everything is researched. Um, sometimes it's just interesting video. And so um, know that this is me trying to show you so you can make a better, safer decision about where you put your paint. Uh, especially for those of you that are concerned about environmental factors. So we're going to be showing you regular glass and how it shatters and how it's very sharp, uh, where that's dangerous. And then uh, we're going to show you what happens when you uh, hit a posh palette with a wrench a bunch of times. Okay, so let's get started. All right, you ready? Yep. So let's, let's go ahead and just tap that. See what happens when you break it. Okay, so that's what happens when you break this kind of glass. You can definitely see the kind of shards that it makes. See how they're all very sharpy? Yeah, and it's just going to cut you up. I'm like, I feel bad about even putting this in the trash can. Now we have um, the New Wave uh, glass palette. This is a tempered glass artist palette. So already, uh, feature-wise, that it's better than... Um, the other just sheet of glass here is that this edge is nice and smooth. Like um, I felt all these and it's like not going to just like completely cut up my finger, which I thought was really nice. There's this kind of like, I think this is like a plastic break thing on the back. I like these rubber corners. Um, you can get the paint off of these uh, either by peeling. Acrylic paint comes right off with the peeling. And then if you have thin films, you just soak it off. So it's pretty easy to clean. It's reusable. Um, if you're finding that, you know, you're either concerned about uh, environmental impact of waste from paint palettes, which is a really reasonable concern, or um, the expense of peel paper palettes, you know, if you have those kinds of things. And as you know, wood's kind of impractical and some of the other stuff is impractical. But more importantly, there's the safety issue because this is much safer to have around your studio than the sheet of glass from your frame. So um, very regrettably, I'm going to break it. I'm really unhappy about this, John is, and also I'm a little bit scared. I feel like I don't have enough safety equipment, to be really honest. Are you ready, John? I'm ready. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, that's just not... John, that's just not breaking. That's the whole idea. Whack it! No, I whacked it. I don't want to whack it any harder. I really whacked it. This test cannot be a test until the Sherpa breaks. I don't want to whack it that hard. It really is scary. Like, I barely tapped the other one and it broke. And this one, I know I'm going to have to really whack it, which one I don't feel good about because it's a beautiful thing. And two, because, whack it, Sherpa. because these can break into little pellets and things. Okay, I can't whack it any harder. Okay. I'm going to break the table. Stunt hands to the rescue. Okay, here we go. You need to get safety equipment. Oh, please don't bring it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You weren't planning on being camera today, were you? You're going to just show your gloves? Okay, time to get your... Did you even ding it? I mean, yeah. you whacked that thing. I whacked that thing. Don't whack it anymore. It's beautiful. Stop it. It's defended itself. By right of combat, it lives. Sorry, that's a rule. As gamers, by right of combat, okay, the palette lives. <laughs> well, guys, this makes my point. It is uh, really interesting to say, oh, I could just pull a plane of glass out of a frame. I know there's a lot of people that recommend that. Um, but what I would say to you as a consumer is that not everything out there 
is safety minded. Sometimes it's just interesting to click on and it may not be good for you. So I really like how we've demonstrated here uh, my point. I'm not going to get the glass again, but my point that um, glass from a frame is really not safe and isn't a good idea in your studio. Um, and I really want to thank the people at New Wave uh, for letting us whack at this posh palette a whole bunch of times. Um, I honestly expected it to break and shatter and I kind of um, hold it in awe and respect at this moment is my honest takeaway from that. But listen, at the end of this, be good to yourselves. Remember that your safety and your well-being matters. There's always a way to respect the budget and also keep ourselves safe. And studio safety is no joke, even though this video was kind of funny. And be good to each other. Remember to pass on good safety tips. Never hurts to keep somebody else safe. All right, I want to see you guys at the easel really soon. And I'm going to go, like, put this posh palette in an honored spot somewhere in the studio. Oh, my gosh, it's amazing. Bye-bye. <laughs>